How would you like to create Facebook traffic ads that actually produce leads and sales? How would that impact your business? I'm assuming the answer is a positive one. So we'll keep going with this video on how to create those Facebook traffic ads that actually work. In today's video, I share reasons to create these types of campaigns. I also share when to create the campaigns. And lastly, I give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to actually create these traffic campaigns. Let's begin. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. The traffic campaign is a type of Facebook marketing objective, one of 11, that you use to drive traffic to your website or your app. In reality, all you need is a URL to get started, so you can drive traffic basically to anything online. This type of campaign gives you the most flexibility to produce leads and sales. So it's no wonder it's the most common marketing objective on Facebook. It's that flexibility that makes Facebook traffic campaigns ideal to drive traffic to cold, warm, and hot audiences alike. So if ever in doubt, run a traffic campaign. It's that simple. Let's head over to the computer. All right, so let's run a traffic campaign. The most common type of campaigns that are run on Facebook. So for this particular video, we're actually not gonna be running a housing ad. I know, I know a majority of the audience is real estate focused, but I wanna show you just different aspects in case there, you're in some other businesses or the viewers that are in other businesses, they get to see an expanded type of targeting that unfortunately is no longer available to us as real estate professionals. Not just us, we're not the only ones being singled out. So if you're running an employment and credit type of ads as well, along with housing, then you have some restrictions on targeting. But for our purposes today, we're gonna show the full capabilities of a traffic campaign. So it, this is one of those rare times that I don't select that I am running a special ad category. And I'll work on the offer as we get going. So we're gonna run a traffic campaign. And then uh, you're gonna select the URL at the end of it. So the traffic, you can select if you're driving traffic over to the website, if you have an app, sending it to Messenger, WhatsApp, you can send traffic that way. Again, it's very simple to get started with this type of campaign as long as you have something digital, an online asset, if you will, to get going. If you go with the Messenger campaign, it pretty much bumps you over into a messenger type of a campaign. So we're gonna go with the website. Dynamic Creative, we're not gonna worry about this too much, but effectively what you do is upload various images, various headlines, and then Facebook is gonna start optimizing and serving up your ad to people that are most likely to act upon it. Which, even if you leave this on, when you go and create your ad, you have the options of adding some additional headlines, additional descriptions, and Facebook is gonna serve them up, serve your ads up in different ways to get people to act a little bit um, more. So they have incredibly targeted algorithms and smart algorithms, so they're able to do that. So since we're running a traditional ad, an ad that is not a special ad category, we still have the options of doing saved audiences, custom audiences, and look like audiences as they sit and breathe. So you would select that there, but for our offer as we start getting into some targeting, uh, let's say, what do we wanna sell? What do we wanna do? Well, let me just show you this. So everyone in this location, people who live in this location, people recently in this location and people traveling in this location. So you are able to separate out the audiences that are gonna be in the geography that you're selecting. For our purposes, we're gonna go with people who actually live in this location. And let's just say we are selling or offering housekeeping. 
housekeeping services. There you go. Um, those are some high margin. That's a high margin business in which, uh, which I like. So let's just say if we're doing housing, um, that's going to denote that we do need to be in areas like South Lake, Texas, which is a pretty well off area. So as you see, we are starting with the minimum radius that you can do is 10 miles. We're going to reduce it to 10 miles. That is the default. But if you want to get a little bit more targeted, let's zoom in here just for a quick second and drop a pin. You can drop a pin and then go down to a mile. As a reminder, this is just a traditional style ad. This is not a special ad category. So if you are in credit, employment, and housing type of professions, then this is really frustrating you because you were able to do this at one point. So in 2019, that's when it stopped being available to the regular, to the special ad category people was created in 2019. So this is frustrating you and I apologize for that in advance, but we're selling for our purposes today, we're selling house cleaning. So there you go. All right, we're dropping the pin. And as a reminder, if there are certain areas that you don't wanna be in, if you see that the mile radius is actually too much, you can drop a pin next to it, reduce that one down to a mile, click, left click there, drop this and exclude. You can drop another pin over here, reduce it and exclude. I dropped that a little bit far, but we can exclude as well. So it's excluding and let's just drop one right there. I think you get what I'm doing. You're excluding to an even tighter radius. Exclude. So what I, what most people end up using this, I shouldn't say most people, a common reason to doing this is schools that can certainly operate, can uh, certain schools that can operate within a certain district, then they would select it based off of boundary lines for their purposes. These are more um, private institutions versus the public ones because the public ones aren't going to be advertising on Facebook. All right, so there we go. We can still, again, we're not in the special ad category, so we can still do this. Let's say, actually, we're not gonna do anything with age. You gotta keep in mind who my ideal avatar is. So as far as making decisions, um, let's just say we're gonna target women. Um, they're gonna be the ones selecting, for the most part, the housing needs, if you will, even if they are working or not working the decision when it comes to that we're going to leave it in their hands and this would be a great split test as well so if we wanted to see the differences we would run an ad just with women and an ad just with men now as far as detailed targeting 1600 people is not bad at all and again well i'm not putting too much emphasis on targeting i just want to illustrate the different capabilities that you still have if you're not running a special ad category so this is actually larger and a bit different. It's not indicative to what we're actually running. But if we had a larger audience and we wanted to get drilled down and actually offer house cleaning services, we would target based off of, I would say a huge correlation would be based off of income. So we're gonna target top 5% of zip codes. So there you go, potential reach of 1000, let's go. Income, top 10, income, we'll just leave it at that. We'll just leave it at that. Again, the audience, I'm not, the potential reach, I'm not worried too much about. The household income would have a big um, indicator in my mind that those services are needed. Although the area that we select is South Lake is a, is you do need a good amount of money to purchase those types of houses. So simply by us putting people who live in this location 
we've filtered out and used the geography and what we know of the area to our advantage. So this may be overkill, but for our purposes, that is fine. I'm just showing you what you can still do with the traffic campaigns if you're not doing the special ad categories. As far as automatic placements, with that little potential reach, I would just leave the automatic placements on. I wouldn't bother editing the placements and only going with Facebook or only going with Instagram ads. So we're gonna leave it as is, the automatic placements. I don't do that often, but just, just know that with such a little reach, you do want to magnify it across as many platforms as across the entire network that you can. We're still optimizing for the landing page views. So we'll deliver your ads to people who are more likely to click on your ads. So we're optimizing for landing page views. We're not necessarily optimizing for link clicks, which is where we were. We don't really care about impressions. We care more about action. We're not gonna worry about cost control at the moment because we don't necessarily know what that is. $20 is abundant for this amount of reach. So we are good to go. Continue. Now before I forget, please be sure to hit the like button so this video's reach is magnified and other people benefit. All right, so now we're at the ad level. I'm not gonna worry too much about the ad name at this point. We're gonna leave the page as is. We're not gonna select an Instagram account. You can certainly link that up, but know that you don't need an actual Instagram in order for you to run your ads. We, what are we doing again? We are doing cleaning, house cleaning. A single image will be enough. We can do a video as well, but a single image will be enough to illustrate what we are selling. As far as adding media, let's add an image just so you see how to do that house cleaning let's let's see if that's even an option we're gonna go free stock images house cleaning what is this um, we'll use that one move this there you go There was an internal temporary, that's fine, that'll go away. All right, this is what I was talking about when we were looking at the dynamic ad creative. You can add multiple. So primary text, let's just say, need house cleaning. Enter another text. Um, tired of doing chores. Is your house home, let's say that, is your home a mess? So questions, questions, starting with questions. Want them to get, we want them to say yes quickly. All right, the headline. So notice that we can continue adding. We can add up to five. So I'll just add one more. House cleaning now. As far as headlines, let's just say headlines that we can use. Let's just say need affordable house cleaning. A way to incentivize them to reach out. The first clean is on us. So you're kind of giving them a coupon at that point. The first clean is on us we will match we will match prices there you go the description is optional which is down here and you can play with that as well so free first clean add another option first clean free and so on and so on. And then this is where you get to select your actual website. For our purposes, I'll just put mine. There you go. Call to action.
Mm, okay, so I misspelled my own website. Good catch, good catch, good catch, good catch, Facebook. So as you saw there, let me add it and read it to you, in case you didn't, you didn't really read what it said there. Facebook actually went over to my website and said your landing page views won't be tracked because this Facebook page doesn't have a face uh, doesn't have a pixel installed. How cool is that? So Facebook itself reminds you that hey, get your pixel on. Thank you, Facebook. All right, we're gonna go with ba -ba -ba, learn more book now. Let's go with book now. It's a service we want them to get going. Not gonna worry about languages. We do want to make sure that our Facebook pixel is on. So depending on which pixel you have going on in this particular line of work, you're ready to go. Link field was required. Please compete. That was actually, that was an error prior. I already included the link. So we're good to go there. Then all you have to do at this point is press confirm and you're off and running. Hey, thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so we can talk again soon.